Hey folks, uh, haven't done many videos over the summer because I've been really busy. And I really wish I would have uh, took a video of everything that I've been doing every, all summer long before I did it. Uh, but if you go back to one of my videos, it's called On the Trap Line. You'll see what it looks like and what I've done pretty much on some of it. Right here. down to a, a cattle corral and then there was a big hedge tree right before it I took all the fence down and here was a, my gate that I went through last year and that fence went clear up there and then all this you can see the brush pile I've had all my fields bulldozed and I've been actually dealing with him trying to get him to finish it up and fix everything after he destroyed it so it's taken me a long time to be able to do this and it still ain't all done back there but th this is what that's looking like there was some a tree there and then another one further down but this whole field here had a bunch of trees and this was the ca the horse lot where I had to put the horse in there every time I hunted because he acted like an idiot so we had to put him up but he died so it goes back pretty far and then right up there is an entrance but I'll show that to you when I come out there but I've been working on this since uh, actually I was doing some of it during trapping season last year but yeah that fence came clear up this way I've got some more I've still got more work to do it's just you know the time all these trees here I've opened them all up but I will show you kind of what it looked like before I started up here in this other spot here in Missouri we got hedge it has those big green balls right there which are a pain in the ass because they fall everywhere and you got to pick them up this is what it looked like all this underbrush is called buck brush and I've actually cleared out some of this and I just got to get it mowed between these trails right here. But this hedge is terrible. It grows everywhere along the ground. And you cannot hardly control it. Right here, where you see that grass, there was three big hedge right there. And uh, got them cut down and burnt. The brush piles and like I said the fence came from up there down there I still got to take that tree out but you can see in these spots I mean all the way down through here I didn't show you on the way up there's trees that grew it all up there up this tree line and you can I stopped at them batch of trees there because I can't get all up in there but this is what it looks like now I did all this with a chainsaw clippers and a push mower and right there is where I filmed my blue tailed skink video this was all hedge and I pulled five not full truck loads but you know up to the wheel well to the edge of the tailgate you know as high as the truck but there was a hedge and we got rock everywhere I pulled five truck loads of rock out of here he bulldozed that 
there was hedge roots sticking up and I mowed all this because I don't have a tractor anymore and I couldn't get the guy across the street to do it for me so I mowed all this with a push mower all this there's where we piled it all up at and like I said I was working on this up here during trapping season anyways and I ain't got it mowed but I got a trail it goes down through there to another trail and I'm up at the top here and there's the house it opened all this up and the deer love it up here and there's a trail that goes straight down there not big enough for a tractor to get through yet but that will be I was on my way up to put my shooting rail on this second deer stand I got up here that I set up the other day that was fenced too and I took it down because that big thing there is a big mess and I've mowed I've kept this mowed and I've cut I still got like I said a few things to do like a few of these lower branches sticking down but I've done all this in the heat <laughs> it about killed me and I got a few more trees there to open that up I've came up here and cleaned all this up it was a mess And all this is the edge of the property line right here but I've got gigantic trees that fell and I'm still working on it so I just cut a spot through here and this is gonna actually take us down to where all my video game cams are filmed this is where all those critters travel, right here on these trails. And this new deer stand, I'm not going to shoot deer out of it up here. I don't want to disturb it. I got too many deer coming up here. Unless I see that double brow tine deer that was on my video again. I'll probably take him. <laughs> but I got a doe that comes up here with that fawn. Which I got on video camera. Yeah, there go that's next door and then it curves to the left and then to the right here is where all my videos are filmed coyotes and the turkeys and the bobcat and the fawn all come through here and I've made this fence it had a bad piece of fence. And see, there's my, I don't know if you can see my game cameras right over there. That's where my game camera is, and there's a trail where they deer take down through there. That's where the bobcat came from and came past my camera. But I've taken out the bad set of fence here. And uh, when I took out the end of the horse lot, we had a a gate this gate here and it, so I just went ahead and took it and brought it up here wired it around this T post where I cut the bad piece out and I've done me a there's a loop at the bottom and a loop at the top you just lift the loop up and pull it apart well main reason I did that was because I'm gonna be trapping over here next this coming year too this is where the bobcat came through. This is where the coyotes come through. There's a rock. And I've noticed they don't come through here like this. See the, the loop in the bottom of the fences? That's where they go through at. But the coyotes will not go on at this head on. They come through the side 
right here then they go under but they travel through here and that's a one of my I got a brush type bobcat set that I made this uh in the last season and I'm gonna put a bobcat set right there and then uh, I don't know if you can see through them trees way down there to that point I'm gonna put a trap there and then it curves around to the left winds around he put a new big old pond in last year and I'm gonna put one on each side of the dam and then see he bulldozed all this and he's got another spot at the end on the other side and it goes up to the end of my, my land it is bulldozed and it goes up to another gate well that fella lets this guy put his cattle over there so usually the gates open so I'll drive through here wind around go up to the next gate go through the gate and I'm gonna trap over there because that fella said I could trap there too so I got several places I'm gonna trap this year and across the street because they put beans in and I like doing bean fields after they cut them but this goes down to a trail you can see all the dead wood back that's another pile this was all this whole next field I'll take you to it through this other entryway I've got to stop off of my this deer stand and put the shooting rail up and I'll have to put you on pause so I don't fall off of it okay now we're going back I've been wanting to do this video but I've been I didn't want it to be everything being half ass done and that's that trail that takes you right back a third to the top there by the house but this is just a my very first deer stand I ever had I don't think I ever had a year that I didn't shoot a deer out of it it's been a good deer stand I keep it painted and Keep it to where it don't rust but it was just sitting back here for a couple years now because I got a newer bigger one because the older I get I get up in the tree stand and I start falling asleep and it has no sides on it so I got a big fancy one has sides and you know for old people <laughs> but anyways uh, I'm gonna put you on pause and then I'll be right back with you all right, I'm back. So, like I was saying, I didn't go down this trail, but them coyotes and stuff come through there and they'll wind around here and there's another trail that goes that way. So either way they come from. Like well, I'm just gonna shoot coyotes here. I've got so many coyotes coming through that fence on my camera, it ain't even funny. And uh, I, I don't know that I wanna put a trap there i could put a couple traps there even if i don't bait them i can put them underneath the fence and i guarantee i could get them coming through but i'm deadly afraid even though it's not going to catch the baby fawn in the trap i really don't want to hurt its leg because technically this doe for nine years straight i've kept her up here has twins every year she only has one this year so I'm thinking the coyotes killed one of them because that makes no sense to have twin fawns for nine years straight and then only have one. So I, I'm pretty sure they ate one of them and killed it. But that goes right back up there where we bulldozed. Shooting rails up, ready to go. Got it all strapped down. I've kept this mode. I mean, I've got several other trails cut through here I just did not mow them you can see there's one that goes off that way one that goes off that way now this one comes back down this way and see there's another one I had to cut stuff out through here now this is wide enough that I can except for right here I'm gonna have to cut some more out I can get a tractor down this there's another trail that goes back down to that open field. This is, I'm pretty sure, where the coyotes are taking the most. There's another spot. And this goes back up to that brush pile where I said I 
had a trail cut. This tree broke off and I had to end up cutting it up this summer. But I've done a lot of mowing keeping all this done this year just with a freaking riding lawnmower and a lot of push mowing. Most of it I push mowed first because I didn't want to hit rocks and I had to beat on rocks that I can't get out of the ground so they don't hit the lawnmower blades. And picking up these dang hedge apples everywhere you go. All right. Now it comes back down, and see I even kept the trail mode up to this. Because he just now hayed this again. And see that whole field over there was all nothing but this. This hedge. There was a few trees here. I'm gonna burn that. But my point of this trail is to give them the least path of resistance. They're going to travel these trails. If I can get them trained during the summer to travel these trails, I think I can possibly trap them. It's only going to be my second year, but, you know, I'll try anything. And I'll take you back down this direction. All summer I have mowed this. I did it last summer too, towards the end, because you can't depend on people to do things for you. So that's where the gate used to be. The fence used to be here all the way down. Because of a I don't get this mode and I gotta walk this during deer season, I don't walk very good anyways. I want this mode up to a certain point where I can't get the mower anymore. Look how open that is. I just, and just shot a coyote last night again for the fourth time. I've shot him four times. He comes right up this and he comes right up there by that shed. He's been up there during the day many times at my house bothering my dog. And I shot him twice last night with three inch magnum. And he's gone. So he's a tough little bird. He's a limping. He's already limping. I call him limpy. This was all this field here. If you remember, I had a trap right here at the fence catching coons coming straight through here. And I would head up in the air and I had that that coon around that tree where it tore it up. That's down there. And then I winded back around down to there. And that was all trees. So I've got to burn these piles, but Right there, he didn't take out the, tr them trees right there along that edge. He could have took that set out. But I'm going to put a trap right there on the edge right there. I think it's going to work pretty good. Right here is another brush pile. But I have a possum problem. Even after all the possums and stuff I trapped, I mowed. I got a cubby right there coming right off this, and they travel up and down this. There is coyote scat up and down this constantly. But I made a cubby hole up in there, giving some free food all summer. The time trapping season comes around, they're going to be comfortable. And they're going to walk up in there. Snap, I got you, bitch. So, I did put some traps down this last year, but I never even had nothing. But all that was trees. But 
look at that. This is where I, I shot my turkey from right here this year. Right here at this brush pile. And they came from that way. But after that's mowed, he's got work to do right behind there. I need more work done. He's going to have to disc it back there. He's disc everything else and kind of leveled it out. But he's got some more work to do. But at the meantime, this trapping season, I'm going to be trying to use this one at least to put a trap around. I'm going to put some big, some hay bales out here too. And I'm going to put some traps in front of them. Because appearance, they're going to spot them hay bales and hopefully come over to them. I'm not going to get too far back in here because all of this is really really tall i'm not even sure i can even get across this without getting wet we've had so much rain we just got washed out again the other day let me see if i can get across here if i fall my fellow youtubers i'm sure will be laughing at me see all the wash up that's how much water we've had well, I made it across. You guys don't get to laugh. So here's my next field. This is where I, I mow to that tree line. Goes through the creek. And there's another little field back in there. But you can't get to it unless you go through the woods. With a smaller tractor. You can't get it with a big tractor. All this was all trees. I had traps up there. Had some traps over there. Since that's all cleared out, I think I'm going to set one right along over there. There's a trail goes down through the creek down there where I get to my deer stand. I'm going to put one there. Like I said, I'm not going to go too far off this path that I got mowed. But you can see how much I got it opened up now and get it mowed what I'm gonna have him do he may hit this here but I don't think that he's gonna put it too short he has a habit of that but I told him when he goes I want all the edges clear around everything here mowed like a corridor as low as he can get it so it's like this they follow it they ain't going to go through this thick stuff. They're going to go down where he's got it mowed all the way down to the ground. I am sure of it. Because I wouldn't want to walk through that compared to this. See? I'm not walking through that thick shit. That goes up into another trail. I got a ways through there. There's a spring over there. Natural spring. I caught a coyote over there, but he pulled out last year. But right over there, I'm hoping to get a trap in. Maybe put a hay bale right over there along that. Uh, you more experienced guys can tell me what you think about any of this. I mean, hay bale over there. Up in that other corner up here along the edge of that creek, I'm going to put another hay bale. And maybe another hay bale back there. But see, this is where, from clear up there at the house, clear along this right here, is where the fence was. See that? That's where the fence was, right here. Went straight down there. It was all growed up. You couldn't get through the fence. And it went to a corner right here. I took all that down. On that one, I had my neighbor's help because he had a thing that wound up barbed wire, so. But like I said, this is going straight down to the creek. And I figure, uh, maybe to tuck a hay bale up in here somewhere. Maybe tuck a hay bale right there. 
but that's you can't tell it but I make my way down through there and it takes me back up to a little field and then I go up to the next set of woods where my deer stand is but anyways I plan on putting a trap here because I guarantee they're coming out of here and they're following my trails so you guys let me know what you think I've tried to do improvements to make this place better because a buddy of mine he's been trapping for a while and he said he wouldn't trap here that this place is useless to catch a coyote but I'm gonna try to prove him wrong I've caught them too but like I said they were old traps and they pulled out and I know they were coyotes because the fur was in the trap and I know there's a lot of coyotes here there is at least three different maybe four different packs all around us and then I got another trail he actually bulldozed through there I'm not having taken the four-wheeler over there which is another video that I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be bringing you guys my new four-wheeler all my trapping supplies and all my new traps because I built this summer I've done without things to make sure I have traps the money for my baits and lures and urines and buying the four-wheeler so let me know what you think like I said this will look a lot better and he's gonna do trails around it so and he's gonna go up and mow he has a bobcat that has a brush hog that fits on the front of it which is pretty snazzy that he can get through my trails up there for deer season and this year I'll be broadcasting my deer when I get it I didn't do it last year because I just started my hunting channel last year but anyways there you go that's what I've done all summer I'll probably be doing another video on a few other things that I've done this ain't all I've done I've kept so busy I ain't even had time to do anything so I'll be back with you with a couple more videos here after a while. And uh, I hope you enjoyed everything that I've done. And if you have any comments of what I can do better, uh, what I can, where I can set a trap, if you're looking at the pictures, you know, the video, let me know. I appreciate all my followers. And uh, good luck to all my fellow trapping brothers may you get all the goats you can because I'm going to get one this year even if it's just one so thank you and God bless and take care and I'll be back with you with more videos later thank you